Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to this episode of the KOTOR Let's Play on iPad. We just got rejected by Euthura Ban, so now we have to find another way to get a Sith badge. Apparently, uh, I did some research. We can beat up some thugs and take their badges. So I'm going to double check if they're around here, but I'm pretty sure they're near the front. Um, there are a lot of side quests on Korriban. Most of them give you plenty of opportunities to get dark side points. So if you really want to be a Sith Lord, this is the place to do stuff. For now, however... Okay, this guy was seeing us talk to Mekel, or Mekel, and now we're going to try to get them to, you know, actually not die here. To get light side points. No! Ah, uh, I was hoping I could buff. No! Okay. Mikkel is tricking you. He'll never let you in. Yay! So worked on that guy. Hmm. Well, apparently I messed this up. But we got some light side points, so, you know, they have made their choice. Is. Choice is. Plural. Okay, so, apparently we're going to have to do some running around after we find these thugs. Because we're going to have to talk to the guard again, and then you throw a ban again. Aha. celebrate my acceptance into the academy me too so how about it chump ready to die i'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests wow hmm i don't want to pick a fight here but we do isn't it obvious hmm well i'm trying to be reasonable i hate winning let's shut them up Okay. I'm all for that. Come on. I have to admit, I was hoping for this result. Thank you, gentlemen. You've made my life much easier. And lady, I suppose. Yeah, that's a lady, right? Uh, it's hard to tell from this distance. One of them was a lady in the cutscene, so I assume much right now. Okay, so thug. Yeah, master that flurry. So we're going to do that, and then that. Yeah, why not? What? Break! Okay. Then we'll do night speed. Okay. Alright, and then... After night speed... Master power attack. Zalbar! Man, he's taking all that like a champ. Truly, I love my Wookiee friend. Okay. Master Flurry. Uh, mm, yeah. Is there a normal Sith Thug? We'll just do this. It's hard to see the combat from here, so we'll do this. Ooh. Come on, Zalbar. I know you have it in you, yes. Alright. Wookiees win. Enough said. Hmm. Too bad we can't have two Wookiees in our party. Well. This is what happens when you pick fights. He who lives by the saber dies by the lightsaber. Hmm. Sith Medallion. There we go. Okay. Can we get anything else? Karth? Okay. Ready? Now we're going to uh, heal. Here. Then we're going to level. Or actually, first, quick save. Just in case of randomness. Light. Level up. Okay. Hmm. Let's get some more persuasion. Just because it's fun. Hmm. 
powers. Ooh, I can get Master Speed, Master Valor, Energy Resistance. Now we're going to go Master Valor for now. Add power. Okay. Accept. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, wow. That's a cool background. So I must have reached the peak of light side power. Cool. Okay. We're going to save one more time. And now I wonder if I can skip a little bit of running by just going straight to Eutheraban. Hmm. Euthera. Euthera, Euthera, Euthera. Fun name. You again. What do you wish now? I have this medallion. So one of the others accepted you even after I did not. Hmm, you're lucky, human. Fire in a forgiving mood. I will take you to the academy. And we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. They're slaves. Don't worry about them. I see. Fair enough. So long as they do not disturb your training or cause you trouble. Are you ready to go to the academy then? Yes, I am. Then let us leave. The master of the academy awaits you. Booyah. Take it in. And we didn't have to run back to the guard and come back. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Thora? A young human bristling with the force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconception has your mind been polluted with? Hmm. Wow, all of these seem to uh, be pretty accurate. <laughs> hmm, I've killed too many Sith to have preconceptions about them. Most impressive, if it is true. Those who were too weak to stand against you deserve their fate. So expect no retribution from us. There is much you can learn from the Sith, and we from you. The Jedi equate the light with... It is funny that the Sith don't care about the dark smack talk. And evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Mikkel? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger with that is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? You know, his irises are yellow. So that probably means he's been in the dark side for a while. Hmm. Uh, I am ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human. I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, 
None of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? And usually that includes killing off your competition. Remember that you are competitors. Hmm. Sadness. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and kill me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Okay, so I don't know all the light side ways to do this. I'm not even sure there are any, really, other than just neutral. Um, I also couldn't find information on Destel before I started this video. But I assume we're going to be talking a lot to people and not find Destel immediately. So, there's that. Ooh, wait, is this a better robe? Defense bonus 3, max dex plus 8... Nope, not better. I like my light side robes, thank you very much. Alright, I'm going to save it quickly. And now, let us go into the academy. Ah, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Your favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Do I have a choice? Mm, not really. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> what I have in mind <laughs> well, at least she's honest, strangely enough. You can be sure of that. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords, to the tomb of Nagasado, to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? What's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Frank? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. <laughs> How do I know this isn't some test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't let me stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Okay. Hm. And what's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together, and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. Yeah, I don't think the rule of two has been implemented yet. Um, hmm. But they still have the whole Master Apprentice thing going on. Okay, what's to stop me from telling them about this? I suppose you could do that. Even the hint of betrayal from his pupil and Uthar would move to eliminate me. But this is a very good opportunity for you. You can start off your Sith career as the right hand of the head of the Academy. Me, Uthar will not offer you that. Do you believe Uthar would not be aware of this? He would quickly figure out what you have to gain by betraying him. And would never believe someone would pass that up. Tell Master Uthar what you wish. Were I you... I would think first of what the consequences of such an action might be. Okay. Um. Very well. I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Can you tell me about the code of the Sith? I gain strength. 
Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain a little? Hmm. I think I got it, but let's ask this last one. The Force shall free me. The Force is our servant and our master, our teacher and our companion, a weapon and a tool. Know it, and you know the universe. Master it, and you master the universe. Strive for perfection, and the Force shall reward you. Okay. And we can ask all these other questions. But I think I got it. I am Excuse surprised. me. Force is strong mm -hmm. with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The Code of the Sith is the easiest way to start. I have told you all that you need to know of it already. There are a group of students who refused an order by Master Uthar to execute a group of civilians in the colony. Uthar declared that they were to be executed themselves. But the students escaped and fled before the order could be carried out. We are certain that they have not left Korriban. No doubt they have not gotten far and are simply in hiding. We just do not know where exactly. If you were to locate them and carry out Uthar's orders, I am sure he would be most appreciative. Shall I go on? Yes, go on. I would suggest you talk to the other suspected Sith and find one you can gain an advantage with. I believe Lasho would be an excellent choice. She is to be trusted. I have little doubt you could talk her into letting you help her somehow. Just make sure it is you who gains the advantage, not her. Be ruthless if you must. That is the only thing that will impress Uthar. The only other idea I can suggest to you is that you head into the Valley of the Dark Lords on the surface. There are ancient ruins there which can be explored. It's possible you might find some artifacts or information in them which would please Uthar. It's difficult. Apparently there are some really good swords. Um, one thing I just noticed is that her eyes do not appear to be completely yellow. Hmm. So that probably means she's not as strong as Uthar in the dark side. Hmm. Other things? Uh, basically she's giving us all the side quests, which is pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. I want to know more about these ruins on the surface. I have been involved in the work there over the last couple of years, but not often. Most of the excavating is left to the students. What did you wish to know? Hmm. Is there any way into the tomb of Naga Sadao? Not unless you are accompanied by Master Uthar. No, it is strictly forbidden. And I truly doubt you could bypass the doors to the tomb with anything less than shipwreck. Just even then, perhaps. There's no other way inside? None. I do not even know how Master Uthar gains entrance, to tell the truth. Though I look forward to discovering that fact. I have searched many times, so do not bother. There is no other way. Do not fret, though. Simply get the prestige you need, and you will see the tomb soon enough. Why are the Sith so interested in these ruins? We could learn much about the history of the ancient Sith why they were on Korriban, and why they left. Perhaps we could learn more about the origin of the Force itself. With that knowledge could come great power. Hmm, I've heard enough. As you wish. Okay. Um, tell me about yourself. About myself? I'm originally from Slaheron, as you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know. No, oh, I can't ask her anymore. Hmm. Okay, well... I think we're good. I'll be going. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Okay. Hmm. Well... Karth, I hope you find your son, bud. Talk about what? The only thing I want to do right now is find Dustal. If he's alive... There's just nothing else I want to think about. I'll understand if we can't look for him right now, but if we could, it would be a huge load off my mind. That's why we're here, friend. What do you mean? You got it. 
Let's do some more healing real fast. Sith guards. Hmm. Master Valor. We need all of our courage here. Hmm. Where's... Aha, there's Le Show. Okay, so we can do that quest. I wonder what Miko has to say, though. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. What makes you so sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Yes, actually. No, no. Uh, okay, so you can at least give me a hint. I could, but what would be the point in that? See you around, chump. Oh man. I guess my buff went off, and my plus two points of persuasion didn't do enough. I can't open that locker either. Hmm. Sadness. Oh, wait. Dustal? Okay, okay. We're totally going to save. And in fact, just in case we need to save scum this or something weird, we'll do that. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's Father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Through the front doors. I wonder how <laughs> interested Master Uthal would be to know just who he has in his web. Unless you switch sides, Father, and cut it down. Just why are you here, Father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustin, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. So I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins and your mother knew. But I helped her while... I looked for you. I swear I looked everywhere for you. Ah, sick. You abandoned us long before. You were alone all during the wars. And even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now. A family that cares about me. And they'll need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. Your son Ouch. Heinrich would never... You never knew me. You won't even dare to know me. So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out. Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here. Calm down, Dustal. Karth is only trying to protect you. I don't need his protection, not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that. The Sith are, they're evil. They're the dark side. They, they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No, they are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. And you, you were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe if I failed you, son, then it's... it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. Hmm. Come with us, then, and we'll show you. I'm not gonna follow you around. Forget it. If you're caught, they'll just think I was betraying them. I'll stay right here. I won't tell anyone you're here, but for now, you find some proof, and you bring it to me. I hear you asking questions about me or doing a single thing to jeopardize my position in the Sith. I swear I'll tell everyone what you're up to. You got that, Father? You prove what you're saying is true. I'm not going anywhere otherwise. I got it, Dustal. I'll be back. I swear it. Dang. Family drama. Well, at least we know Dustal is okay. For some reason, he can't see all the evil the Sith are doing, and the tendency for backstabbing. Hmm. wonder why he thinks they're family to him now. Anyway, I think we're going to call it an episode there. I'm going to research what we need to do to make uh, Dustal change his mind. And we'll leave it there. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Have a good day, dear viewers.